co-president, freedom and democracy, uh, Mr. Nigel Farage. Age when the gap between ordinary voters and the European political class grows wider by the day, I have to ask you, having listened to your words this morning, just what planet are you on? This pretense that everything's going incredibly well. The EU is mired in deep structural crisis. Greece and Portugal and Ireland cannot survive inside the Euro. The Danes have torn up the Schengen Agreement, and good for them, because the total free movement of peoples is a completely irresponsible thing to have done. And public opinion is saying, whilst they want a European cooperation, yes, of course I agree with that, what they don't want is this Europe run by unelected bureaucrats like Mr Barroso. You say the EU is fantastic in a recent comment. You're supporting the destruction of national democracy. But it's with reference to Greece that I'm most concerned about you because uh, when faced with their recent enslavement, you said, we lived for many years as a non-sovereign non country under Soviet occupation. For us, European integration is not a threat to sovereignty because we experienced not long ago a serious threat to our sovereignty. So what are you saying? That this isn't quite as bad as the USSR? Is that really good enough for your people? And today you describe Greece's problems as trivial. I'm sorry, there are hundreds of thousands of people out there on the streets of Greece fighting to get their democracy back. And it beggars belief that you and our president, you and our president Mr Buzek, can talk about the solidarity movement, can talk about Poland getting its democracy back 20 years ago, and yet here you are, surrendering the democracy and sovereignty of Poland to a failed European Union. Yes, sir, we all want a shared European cooperation for the future, but this most definitely is not the model. Uh, thank you, Mr. Co-President. Uh, are you ready to answer the blue card question? Mr. Goebbels, blue card question. President, Mr. Farage, I remember always a cook who cries in the basse cour, the feet on a tas of fumier. But I've never yet heard, except for these critics, one critique, une seule suggestion how we can change this Europe or what is the perspective he has for this continent? Uh, Post 1945, there were some very sensible ideas put together, namely the Council of Europe. Let's have a Europe where we sit down together, where we have a free trade agreement, where we agree minimum standards on work, on the environment. We can do all of these things without a European Commission, without a European Parliament, and without a European Court of Justice. We've done it in security terms with NATO. Yes, it'll mean you'll lose your job, Mr. Barroso, but apart from that, apart from that, why can't we do things as mature democracies? Yes, I want you sacked, Mr. Schultz, as well. I want you all fired. We can do those things, and that is a positive way forward. By taking away from people their ability to govern themselves and transferring that power to the European Commission, we're headed for a Europe of rebellion and violence. Let's take the democratic route. Uh, thank you, colleagues. It's a very interesting discussion. We know very well. Now will be the next speaker. Now will be the next speaker.